This is Movie Tone. Jeffrey Sumner reporting. Some of the first British troops to leave Port Said since the announcement of the withdrawal of the Anglo-French force were men of the Royal Fusiliers. In the knowledge of a good job done, and with all the cheer of the Christmas season ahead of them, they must have been delighted to be on their way home. They sailed aboard the troop ship Dilwara. Meanwhile, General Sir Charles Keatley and General Sir Hugh Stockwell were visited by Major General Burns, commanding the UN force. After greetings, they drove off to confer on details of the takeover. Limassol now, and men of the Royal Norfolk Regiment all packed up and ready to go. They were about to start on the voyage home from Cyprus, bag and baggage, and you can bet every one of them regarded this as a move in the right direction. It meant leaving behind all 50 of their fine Norfolk turkeys. The birds will serve as some other regiment's Christmas dinner, but the Norfolks don't worry about that at all. Among ships of the Royal Navy that have just returned to home waters, a frigate and two destroyers berthed at Portsmouth. Their crews have already been relishing the welcome naturally in store for all homecoming servicemen. Relatives and friends were at the jetty to greet members of the ship's companies given shore leave. The scenes that followed are typical of such a happy occasion. In the little German town,